What would a Vietnam vet be like without a sergeant, without any backup, without any other soldiers, nobody but a Vietnam vet in Vietnam, when he came home, how would he be? And that's me. I had to go through all that street war, everything, the same drugs that everybody else get turned out on. You know, where I would have been stopped short, I made it past. And here's where I am. But because I made it past, I missed some lessons. You know what I'm saying? And you can see the lessons that I miss when you talk to me. You can see where, where I haven't had a father when you talk to me. You know what I'm saying? You can see where I spent a lot of my time in the streets when you talk to me. Because the words that I say are not words that come from a mother's mouth or a father's mouth. It's words that come from a pimp's mouth or a prostitute or a hustler or a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? But to me, these were my role models. How much of that, though, in terms of growing up without a father, sometimes not being with your mother, do you, do you lament on and look back and say, damn, I, I missed something big? I, um, I know for a fact that had I had a father, had I had someone, and I hate saying this because white people love hearing black people talk about this, but had I had a father, had I had some of these opportunities, I'd have been able to help my mother more. She wouldn't have went the road she went. I could have been a better son. You know what I'm saying? She wouldn't have went that road. It was the absence of my father. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing with him being daddy not being there. My mother's dealing with him being my man not being there. You know, so many problems in our community that, that um, affect everything. So by me not having that, I ain't never want to hear nothing about no kind of relationship between a black man and a black woman. I knew they didn't work. Because as far as I knew, my daddy was the coolest dude out there. And my mama was a panther. So if they didn't work, it don't work. That's how I felt. You know what I'm saying? And going out there, you know what I'm saying? It's like watching my mother just go through changes and everything. It's like my mother's my partner. She a soldier. You know, she a soldier like I'm a soldier. You know, and I, I watched the, the, the game that she went through. If I, I would have went the same way my mother went had not she did her route and showed me which where it went wrong with her. And my mother always told me, don't you ever, ever just um, volunteer yourself to our people because they'll use you. That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? She never, she also told me to uh, follow my heart and for me to be the leader. But it's interesting to see just the change in your face, your reaction, your, your, your thought process. That's all I ever wanted to do, ask my mama. I wanted to go to college. I went to school all the way and was ready to go to college. The only thing that stopped me was money. The time we all of my all the kids in my school was writing applications to go to college, I didn't have no lights and no electricity. And that ain't my mama's fault. You know what I'm saying? So when I think back to that, I'm not thugging for me. I'm thugging for my family. I pay all the bills. You know what I'm saying? I, I feed my whole family, wrong or right. I do. And I can't stop. You know what I'm saying? And if thugging is going to make me a million bucks, because it just got me platinum. Then that's what I got to do constantly. And if it makes me feel, because right now, I feel satisfied. I don't feel like I've ever embarrassed myself or my people, you know, and nothing that I've done. And yet and all, I got the whole world fear me. You know what I'm saying? At 23.